Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. Norm Poster. Make sure you follow Norm Poster. Real, real talk here. Give him a follow. Hell Norm yeah. Poster. Shout out to Norm for finding what we were looking follow for. Follow Norm Poster right here. Thank you, first of all. Second of all, if you need ASMR and you don't know about Norm McDonald, and you want to listen to somebody talk, just go to this channel, I'm Not Norm. Get away with a great deal of- listen to, listen to this guy for a little bit if you're not already clued in. Uh, anyway, so he says, I have this feeling I'm having a hard time articulating that the lefty cultural revolution just died today, and anything further we see from it might just be the dead cat bounce. Simultaneously, today's events aren't exactly in Israel's favor either. What's actually going on? And then down here at the bottom here, where does he say the part about the prestige? Yeah. There is something there is something to all this that we're missing, like the warm-up to some kind of deep event that causes a hard paradigm shift. But I'm trying to read through the noise to see who it all benefits, to glimpse the prestige of the trick and coming up dry. So, for example, what he's talking about is he's talking about how it looks like Jews are losing control of the narrative. And one aspect to that that I commented on was that if you're Stockholm Syndrome, if, if, you, if you have, if you're a slave and the massa of the house gets shot in the head, you're not all of a sudden like, whoa, this is awesome. There's, there's, something, there's something frightening about seeing Jews lose control. There's something very frightening about that because what comes next? And... Um, you can, you can pretend like you don't understand that anxiety, but you definitely are going to feel that anxiety at some point. It doesn't matter who you are. I'm not saying one thing or another about it. I'm just saying that anxiety is real. And <clears throat> um, like the stuff that's going on right now, by uh, Joe Biden basically fucking up this whole visit um, Yo, by calling Xi Jinping a dictator. I don't think that's accidental. And uh, like this right here, U.S. Marine almost gets hit by a car, and people are saying that it's a Chinese driver is why this happened. So the Chinese the, the Chinese limo carrying the Chinese president almost runs into the U.S. Marine that's waiting for him. And people are, people are joking. Oh, that's a Chinese driver. He doesn't know what he's doing. That doesn't happen accidentally. That is the Chinese sense of humor. That's their MO. That's how they operate. There's um, Chinese anal swabs for State Department. U.S. diplomats in China subjected to anal swab testing for COVID-19. How about that? So if you worked for the United States and the U.S. Embassy in Beijing and you're over there in China, they're going up your ass. That's the Chinese. That's how, the, that's how these people. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> if you want to know how the Chinese operate, watch a spy film. Watch a Jean Le Carré based film, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, whatever. See how, see how nuanced and far-fetched and crazy the Cold War era spying stuff got. Not that this is, I mean, this is, Jean Le Carre is a fiction writer, but they were up to some crazy stuff. Watch that, feel that, and then imagine a Chinese, go, a Chinese guy going, Oh, oh, oh make it go in the ass. We're going to go in the bottom. <laughs> that's, that's for the Chinese, they put a twist on it. Oh, Xi Jinping, what this? I almost hit the U.S. Marine with the car after I go in the ass. <laughs> okay? That's the Chinese sense of humor. It's hilarious, but it's definitely not accidental. This, you think a guy, you think a guy that's hired to drive around the Chinese president doesn't know what the fuck he's doing with his car right here? <laughs> you know they, I don't think so, brother. Well, you know what they say about Asian drivers. Oh, Chinese people are so bad at driving. No, 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 no. Not this guy. Yeah, we all know the family guy, but... This How is... many I need to take to 
This is perfect. This is a perfect move right here. This, this is the way <clears throat> forcing a U.S. Marine to move. It's like a mog thing? Yes. That's what the, that's what the Chinese do all the time, the mogging, ass mogging. Uh, Xi Jinping did a speech where people are now looking at the speech. They're tweeting, oh, look, he just wants peace. He couldn't, he emphatically wants peace. He couldn't say it louder. That's... I didn't even see. I didn't even see the speech. Watching the speech is irrelevant. You watch the little fucking games they play. That's how you know what these people are up to. Anyway, whatever.